Good morning, everyone. This is Lean Hijazi reporting live for the Tret station here at AUB. On October 6th and 7th of the year 2022, we are back with another Makhlouf Haddadin Symposium in loving memory of the late Professor Haddadin. Eight renowned chemists will be giving their lectures for the following two days. And the following report will include interviews with AUB's current and 16th president, Dr. Fadlu Khouri, along with the eight speakers. President Khouri, uh, my condolences to you. We were very touched by your opening remarks. I have a few questions. First of all, what did the late Dr. Hadadin mean to you? And do you have any significant encounters with him that you'd like to share with us? I have many encounters. I knew Makhlouf for 49 years, from when I was a young man to when I first entered AUB. He and my parents got to be friends before I was born in Boston. Um, I visited the Haddadin family uh, for Christmas and New Year's uh, in 2020, just before the pandemic, my family and I, and I had promised him that I would visit him this Christmas because I've always called the Haddadins my family in Jordan. So Makhlouf was an extraordinary person. He was very personable, very humble, but he was very focused on the students. He held you guys to very high standards because the tyranny of soft expectations was not in Makhlouf's head. He expected great things from each and every student. He held me to a high standard, so I, I will miss him the rest of my life, but he will, part of him will always be with me. And what are your thoughts on the actual symposium being held here in AUB, especially after the pandemic and all? I think this is exactly the kind of high quality scientific symposium that we need to have at AUB. Look, I've said it many times, when people ask me, what surprised you the most? I knew the students were excellent, but the faculty are truly world class. And the vast majority of those world class faculty have stayed. As a faculty member, as a scientist myself and a scholar, you only get better when you measure yourself and you collaborate with top people. So it means the world to have these extraordinary people come here. These are some of the top chemists, including our own Dr. Hanadi Sleman. So it's very, very important to continue this tradition, and we will make sure this is permanent. Oh, it's wonderful. This is a great university. It's a beautiful campus. So it's, uh, it's great to be back here. Uh, thank you for hosting us. It has been a wonderful experience, a uh, beautiful campus. Uh, that's the one thing it surprises. It's uh, how green and how nice it is. And another one, I see all the students uh, here. They are more uh, energized. They are sort of wants to do uh, new things. And I think this is very important. Uh, that's one of the first things that struck me was how the students are very uh, enthusiastic uh, and proud of the, what they do. So that is the one. Well, I, 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 uh, I, I'm really enjoying my trip. I, as I explained, I, I grew up in an Arab American family, but I've never been to this part of the world. So it's like I'm seeing all these familiar faces. <laughs> And uh, it's, it's really wonderful. It's amazing. The students are really impressive. They're very enthusiastic. It's so nice to see uh, everyone very interested and curious about science. Oh, it's very nice. Uh, very pleasant environment. It's, it's wonderful to see the, the area and the students and uh, learn more about the culture. Uh, so it's uh, been a nice experience. Oh, I love it here. It's home, right? So it's, uh, yeah, it feels wonderful to be here. Uh, it's wonderful. It's my first time in Lebanon and so I'm enjoying it very much and the campus here is really fantastic so and food wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's really incredible this is my first visit and I'm really impressed by all facilities and well the city is very beautiful science is great I really enjoy it. Well, you know, certainly the, there's a wide world of chemistry out there. And I think, as I mentioned in my talk, the training you're getting here as undergraduates is just outstanding. So keep your horizons open and look out into that world afterwards because I think there's a lot of things that are positive you can do. So I'd say really to try to push that in your careers. And my advice to the students is uh, keep that passion and enthusiasm going. Uh, things will get better and uh, you will be very successful. So that is what you need, is the passion and enthusiasm. 
So uh, my best advice would be to uh, study hard and learn to uh, think of your own ideas for, for research and you'll be successful. Uh, keep working hard, be brave, try new things, and, and take advantage of the terrific uh, professor faculty resources around them. They care a lot about their students and uh, we can see that. Uh, be optimistic uh, and think about your futures. Uh, work hard, uh, study hard, and uh, chase your goals. Um, I think you should be very ambitious. Don't let anything stop you. Uh, jump into new fields. Don't, don't stop. And you'll always have people like myself and many others who will mentor you and, and keep you together. Um, well, the piece of advice is to follow your dream, really, because uh, eventually that's the only thing that uh, really brings you to, to, to put uh, a large effort, a major effort, uh, to get the best out of you. Um, generally, to young scientists, I always uh, advise to do what they love because it's all, always the best. Because if you love something and you do it, yeah, you contribute uh, your best, right? <laughs>